Hi, superstars. It is time for science. We are on the module weather and we are on lesson three. Open up your Be a Scientist notebook to page 86. Make sure you put your name and date at the top. We are going to be going over these vocabulary words. Our first vocabulary word is forecast. Can you say forecast? A forecast says that something will happen by using information about the weather. Forecast. Our next vocabulary word is severe weather. Severe weather. That means very strong conditions outside. So this is a picture of some severe weather. Do you see the clouds? It's very cloudy. Some severe weather is going to happen. Tornado. Can you say tornado? A tornado is a strong storm with winds that form a cloud that looks like a funnel. Tornado. This is what a tornado looks like. It looks like a big funnel. Very strong winds. That is a tornado. Thunderstorm. Can you say thunderstorm? Storms with thunder and lightning. Here's a picture. See the lightning? And the thunder makes a loud sound. That is a thunderstorm. Our next vocabulary word is blizzard. Blizzard, a strong snowstorm that lasts a long time. Look at this snowstorm. Everything is white. That is a blizzard. And our last vocabulary word is hurricane. Repeat after me, hurricane. Storms with heavy rain and winds that blow in a circle, hurricane. Here is a picture. It's heavy winds and rain. So it looks similar to a blizzard, but a hurricane is heavy rain, not snow. A blizzard is heavy snow and a hurricane is heavy rain. We're going to listen to a story. It is called Storm Warning. It's about Maisie's pool party that she had to move indoors because of a storm. Let's listen. Storm, storm Warning. I can't wait for tomorrow, said Maisie. Why? asked her mom. It's my pool party, mom. I know. I didn't forget, mom said with a smile. I'm joking with you. The weather is so hot. Everyone will want to swim in the pool. We'll have so much fun, said Macy with excitement. I'm going to look at the forecast for tomorrow, said Mom. She turned on the television. So the mom is looking at the weather forecast. Remember, the forecast tells what the weather will be like in the future. Uh-oh said mom. What? What did the weather reporter predict? asked Macy nervously. She predicted that there will be severe weather tomorrow, said mom. There is a storm warning. No, what about my pool party? We'll still have your party, but we need to be inside the house, said mom. But the pool is outside. Macy felt let down. I know. But we will have more fun when we are safe and dry in the basement. The next morning, Maisie woke up early and ran to the window. The sun was shining. Oh, the weather forecast was wrong. The weather is great. I'm so happy. At noon, Maisie's friends came over for the pool party. After a tasty lunch, it was time to get in the pool. All of a sudden, the wind became strong. The sky became dark. 
All right, the clouds are forming in the sky. Remember when the mom looked at the weather forecast on the TV, they said there may be a thunderstorm. Everyone come inside, said mom. She was prepared to move the party indoors. Macy and her friends ran in the house. Let's all go downstairs, quickly, said mom. What's happening? Macy asked. The storm already sounded scary. The forecast was right. There is a severe rainstorm starting. The winds are unsafe outside. But we are safe down here, away from the windows. There is no reason to be scared, said Mom. This basement is secure. It's still a party. Mom pointed to beautiful cupcakes. Wow, said everyone. Here are some fun games. Macy and her friends felt cozy and happy. Macy realized that Mom had set up the party for indoors early that morning when it was still sunny. She was glad that her mom had listened to the weather forecast. Thank you for a great party, Mom. So how did Maisie's mom know to plan for an indoor party? She saw the forecast. The forecast told her about the thunderstorm coming. So we were talking about severe weather. What is the severe weather that happened in this story? It was a thunderstorm. And that's what made them have the party indoors where they're safe and they could have fun and not be in the really heavy rain and wind outside. We're going to watch a video about tornadoes. Weather changes every day. Some days can have storms and some storms can have tornadoes. Look at this tornado. They can be very dangerous. But certain people watch and track tornadoes every day, so we know when and where a tornado might appear. They use special weather instruments to do this. Have you ever seen radar? Radar is one tool used to measure readings of stormy weather. Have you ever heard a tornado siren? This sound lets people know when to seek shelter before the tornado comes. The safest place is your basement or cellar. The siren helps people get to a safe place until the storm is over. I am so glad we have weather scientists and tools that help keep us safe during a tornado. All right, let's talk about what we just watched here. So what other tools do meteorologists use to forecast severe weather? They use radar. And what tools do they use to warn us of severe weather? Do you remember? Do you remember that loud sound here? Those are sirens and also the forecast on the radio. It warns us about severe weather so we can stay safe. Let's go back to page 86 of our Be a Scientist notebook. And let's look down here. We watched our video about tornado warnings. What tool do they use? So you're gonna circle your answer. So what tool did they use which of these two tools did they use to predict tornadoes? Do you remember? Circle the one you think is correct. They used radar. So that is what they use to predict tornadoes. Now turn to page 87. Make sure your name is at the top and the date. So here it's asking, meteorologists warn people 
about tornadoes. So we watch the video. What tools do they use to warn the people about tornadoes? Well, there's a radio, there's a siren, and there is an umbrella. Do you remember what they used in the video to warn the people? Remember the loud sound? That was a siren. And what else? They tell the forecast on the radio. So they use the radio and the sirens to warn people to prepare for the tornadoes. Now we're gonna watch a video about severe weather. And this video shows different types of severe weather. Hello, I'm Hugo, the meteorologist. Today, I'm here to talk to you about severe weather. Do you know what severe weather is? Severe weather is any type of weather that is dangerous. Wow, this was all caused by severe weather. Let's take a look at this one. There's so much water in places it shouldn't be. This is called a flood. A flood is caused by very heavy rain that can sometimes last for days. Floods can be very dangerous. They can damage homes and cars and can hurt people and animals. Now let's look at this one. This damage was caused by a tornado. A tornado is a fast spinning tube of air that forms from a thunderstorm. Tornadoes can destroy large buildings, knock over trees, and even lift cars and fling them through the air. Here's another example of severe weather. Wow, look at all this snow. This was caused by a blizzard. A blizzard is a big storm that has snow, ice, and sometimes very cold temperatures. Blizzards can make roads slippery and dangerous to drive on. Heavy snow and ice and strong winds can damage trees and power lines. What about this? This damage was caused by a hurricane. A hurricane is a huge storm that has very powerful winds and heavy rain. A hurricane forms over water and then moves over land. When a hurricane moves onto land, the heavy rain, strong winds, and huge waves can damage buildings, trees, and cars. There are many types of severe weather. Severe weather can be dangerous, so always be careful if you know there is a strong storm headed your way. I'll see you next time. Bye! Okay, so what type of severe weather happens mostly in winter? Power lines. Do you remember? The severe weather that happens mostly in winter. What do you think it is? A blizzard. What type of severe weather happens when it rains a lot for many days? Do you remember? Remember, we saw it in the video. When it rains a lot, what type of severe weather happens? A flood. Look at all the rain. That's called a flood. So why should you be careful if you hear that severe weather is coming? Severe weather can be dangerous. So you need to prepare for it to stay safe. Turn to page 88 in your Be a Scientist notebook. Make sure your name is at the top. We watch the video about different kinds of severe weather. So now you're gonna draw a picture of um, severe weather that happens where you live. So think about severe weather that occurs where you live. And I want you to draw a picture. Maybe it's a thunderstorm where it's really cloudy and you hear lightning and thunder. If you live near the mountains, it could snow. So I want you to draw a picture of severe weather that occurs where you live. And remember, how can we tell if severe weather is coming? What would we do? We would listen to a weather forecast. All right, superstars, you're doing a wonderful job. Keep up the good work. And until next time, have a wonderful day.